like a couple of weeks ago, two weeks ago or something like that. I'm going through and I'm responding to these people's uh, comments and somebody's saying, does this work? And then there's this comment right below it that says, yep, it works. Mate uh, made 8K in the last 10 days or maybe it was 10K, 10K in the last eight days, I think it was actually. And I'm thinking, who is this? <laughs> I'm here with Derek, Real Estate Lead Engine. Real quick, before we jump into anything, um, maybe a quick intro about you, your your agency, and then we'll jump into, uh, you know, how is it that you're getting, you know, all that cash in such, just a short amount of time? We'll talk about your business. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so me and my agency, I, I dove in and I've taken a long journey. Hopefully people won't have to take as long as I did, but right. I've been doing digital marketing, if you will, for since 2016, on and off, sometimes um, part-time, sometimes full-time, a normal journey. So well, you don't get here overnight to anybody watching this. So uh, it's a longer journey than you think, but more importantly, so um, <clears throat> I went into the real estate space. I grew up around it. Uh, I was comfortable with it. And, um, and I just, you know, I was working with home service companies too. And I was like, I got to pick, I got to niche down. I got to really dial in and be the expert in the space, all the stuff that all everybody was talking about back then yeah. and still talk about. But, um, <clears throat> so I decided to go that route and, um, back in 2018, I also got licensed myself because I was like, I want this to work so much so that I want to be able to make sure it works. And even if I'm a terrible realtor, I wanted to work for myself because <clears throat> I do know sales and I know marketing. So if I can figure those out, like I could probably figure out how to even like close transactions as a realtor. So I got licensed and got crazy into this myself. Cool. I did have clients that I did this for first. So, and, and was like, all right, I want to dive into this. So I got licensed and, and did it stuff and even did it during the pandemic, um, you know, closed like 5 million in volume from, oh, wow. from, you know, leads and stuff we were generating and what we were doing. And I was like, okay, this works. So, and at the same time, I was kind of um, trying to run both in my marketing agency and doing this real estate thing. I was like, all right, I know my lane. I know my love and, and, and what I'm good at and it's marketing and in the real estate space. So dove back into um, full-time. And in fact, it was an Alex Ramosi video that challenged me. Um, that's like, Hey, do the one thing and scale it. And I'm like, got it. Okay. I'm gonna listen to this cat. Cause he knows what he's talking about. So, um, and that's really where I just committed back, you know, at right after the pandemic stuff into 2021. And we just started launching and growing, um, real estate lead engine, um, from where it was just as a normal kind of high ticket, quasi high ticket, almost kind of SMMA kind of model, a hybrid of the two, if you will. Yeah. And okay. and that's led us to here. What was the rest of that? So, oh, no, and, just that's a that's a good intro. So uh, you know, again, you came on my radar because you're like, hey, I'm using the UPEX and SMMA model. I'm doing a, maybe it sounds like a hybrid, and we're out making it happen. So <laughs> uh, you know, it, it's funny because I I started this business in 2015, meaning the SMMA model back in 2015 and got into it and started having some pretty quick success. I was, you know, doing it full time and, and really, um, you know, for me, it was kind of like backwards, meaning I became successful really quick, lots of clients really quick, but then it was just all of the whole, all of the crap that it, and we were talking a little bit before that comes with running an SMMA agency, which uh -huh. I think there's some people that do it better than others, obviously. And I'm not saying that people, you know, that I'm so, you know, amazing, whatever. And so I should have been able to do it. No, I'm, I'm probably less organized, but the fact remains that when you get into that model, you start making, um, you know, making some money, your costs go up. You have to have, like you were talking about media buyers, all this kind of stuff. And that was really like the impetus <clears throat> um, what made us look at this combination between high level and upex and we're like high level is doing a lot of really cool stuff what if we could do this thing mm -hmm. and it entirely move remove the complexity and so i look at like the tools that we have today compared to the tools i mean we were sending leads to google docs you know spreadsheets 
Um, yeah. If we if Frankenstein, your three different steps. <laughs> yeah. Frankensteining together all of these chat and emails. Like, I wonder if we could get a text message and an email to fire off at the same time. Jacob's like, oh yeah, we'll do like a bajillion Zapier request, whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, so the landscape is completely changed today with the tools, the, the model that are now available. So it's a lot easier, faster. The shortcuts are, are there. Um, but it doesn't mean that it's less work and less effort. Right. Yeah. I, I think that if you can get the vision quicker, if you can invest the time and even Alex, Alex from he, uh, I, I once heard him say, and he's a really good, by the way, I, I couldn't agree more, a really good resource for information. You know, you can become an expert in anything with 20 hours of, you know, work of research of learning. And I agree with that. I think honestly, you just need to be an enthusiast about it. Just be an enthusiast to the point where it's like, Hey, I know enough to be ethical in my approach to my audience. Right. Yeah. It's it, you will be blown away what you can learn in such a short amount of time. So uh, those were just a couple of thoughts that were coming up as I was, I was hearing you talking about, Oh man, we started, you know, similar to the same time. Yeah. Um, What? It was so, so much harder back then. Um, hundred percent. You know, I didn't even know what follow-up was or software or CRMs. I just, yeah. Yeah. I was trying to do SEO and like rank sites and build sites for people. And I I just, I knew websites and SEO and and these guys came on in in a group I was in. They were like, yeah, you should run ads on Facebook. Yeah. I should run ads on Facebook. Like, like, because this other thing isn't working really well. And, and that's what I did. My first client was a real estate client. That's why I kind of continue to go down this path. And, and we, I got her tons of leads. She got using the strategy that I put together. And I was like, I don't know what you do with those after this. Like, <laughs> you know, we're yeah. talking about 2017. I was like, I didn't know you were going to get 76 of those. So in two weeks, <laughs> so, you know, and that's Facebook circa 2017, but um yeah, having all of those things in place and follow up and and a whole a system to just be able to serve the client on all ends is just it's it's so much more powerful. Yeah, it, it it's, it's funny. I'm again just um as you're saying all these things, I'm just remembering what it used to be like. I I I came in during the click funnels <clears throat> era, which I'm not saying we're out of any era. I'm just saying there was a point in time where that, that was like really really the only every- thing. Yeah, it was like the only thing, very heavy uh, promotions. Um, and the idea was if you learned funnels, that was all you needed, right? And so I mm. bought this course and I devoured that course over a three-day weekend. I went through the whole thing. I don't know how many hours it was, but I just went through. I'm like, oh, I got to learn this. I got to know this. This is the key to my business. So I went through it. And it was funny because in that course, they're like, okay, funnels are good. But they don't do anything if you can't send people there. So I'm like, oh, wait, traffic. I got to learn how to do traffic. Mm-hmm. And the guy that made the course, he was like, all right, so here's how you make an ad. And they were like this type of ad, that type of ad. The ad was like a testimonial ad. So shoot a testimonial and say, hey, our, our business is so great. Look at what our customers have to say. And that's your ad. I'm like, <laughs> okay. And so I shot the video style, did everything he said. And put the ad on, did not work. Not even a little bit. It was like crickets. I'm like, oh, did I do yeah. something wrong? Well, you did better than me because I just shut down my entire account and turned it off forever. And I'm like, oh, oh well, yeah, I didn't even know that, that was a thing. <laughs> yeah, that is that is better than you. But that guy I didn't tell up. me that in in my course. <laughs> yeah, I followed up and I did. I was again, I was jumping in all these groups and I was learning. And I found this ad for my niche. I'm like, okay, everybody says that this one works. Yeah. And so I jump in, flip it on, and boom, I just start getting a ton of lead volume. I'm like, all right, finally, I got the ad. It didn't take me long to realize I don't need a ad. I need several ads. I need to learn this game. And that's for me. I, I love mm-hmm. advertising. I love just the <clears throat> art of making offers, writing ad copy, coming up with the creative. I love that stuff. And, you know, I, the rest, the rest for me is kind of uh, history, as they say. All right. So let, let's, let's jump forward. Cool. You know, we've got, uh, yeah, like some similar background. Yeah, um, we could rem- reminisce for hours, I'm sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> how it used to be. Uh, but we're in a new time. 
And what yeah. the impetus, as I said, of this of this conversation was, you know, somebody jumped on a YouTube video. You're like, yeah, I'm making uh, 10 grand. I've made 10 grand in the last eight days. I've been talking a lot about models, offers, creating yeah. your agency model based on who you serve, what value you can offer. So tell me, tell me how you're like, what is it that you're offering? How are you using these <clears throat> tools? And then what are the customers getting based on your model right now? Yeah, our offer is, uh, and I've, you know, paid for a lot of coaching and like to, to premise people that are like, that's what I'm going to do in eight days. I'm going to make 10 grand. You got to understand I've spent $60,000 in coaching and training over the last six years, maybe yeah. more. I like to just cap it there. We stopped counting. So um, to say that it's going to happen immediately and you're going to have the perfect offer, people need to understand. Um, you know, it's going to be a little bit more of a journey than you probably think and just continue to move forward and keep going. But our offer specifically, our product market fit, what I found worked best was many agents and many marketing companies, they want to hold all the information from the company. Mm -hmm. They don't want them to see it. They don't want them to see the ads. They want to control the ad spend. They, they want to have, as human beings intrinsically, we have control freak problems. Yes or no, right? Like, yeah. I, I just have control problems. So it's like, how can I be different? You know, Alex or Mosey, all these guys talk about, well, be better, faster, cheaper. Well, also you can give people more control because while I like control, they also do. So we build a model that's more of a done with you model and allows agents to allow to get set up and get rolling. And like we manage it for them for a period of time. And then when that thing's in the air, it's getting leads. Leads are cost are super low. Good quality conversations are coming from automation. Well, we'll let them hold the controls. We're right here beside you. So that's the first thing is we give them that we set it up, but it's like, it's something you own. You can have forever. I, I, I relinquish, relinquish control and relinquish the idea of you're going to need me forever. And you should pay me every single month. No, you don't have to pay me at all. And if you don't want to use my tools, take it off the table, right? You don't need them. You can, I'm actually going to create something where you can be successful without them. But when you, when we go through these tools, <clears throat> you're going to see them more of an assistant and AI that's pre-built up for you, set up for you and does a lot of the heavy lifting. So you, you might see more value than what we're charging. So we build a model that's more of a done with you model. And then we give control and, um, and, you know, like you talk about in a lot of these videos, which hopefully people are watching more of them. Don't just watch this one. Um, <laughs> that, uh, that it's like, hey, have a SaaS model where you're charging up front. And I'm really curious and, and going to kind of take the journey like you did, uh, potentially having these people on the side and like, okay, let's try this where if we, they pay three or four months up front for the SaaS. Now, right now, what we have is a model that's, hey, it's 2K up front and you can go to get premium, what I call, we call premium membership and lifetime access, kind of the traditional um, coaching model with SaaS tagged into it. Um, so it's $2,000 one time up front. And what we do is we give them our lead engine 360 SaaS, go high level, whatever you want to call it, our software for four months um, for free for them to use to decide if it's really doing the job and doing the stuff that we're talking about. Um, and then we actually tie a guarantee on it since we're setting it up and that we are um, managing it for them that we're going to guarantee a certain amount of leads and a certain cost per lead and guarantee that they're going to get some quality conversations, some responses from the automation um, from that. So um, that's our offer the way that we set it up, but it's, and that's just one way. So I already have dialed in, you know, all the stuff already had dialed in all the ads already had dialed in all the other things. So why was it important for me to put a comment up there? It's probably what people are asking the question watching this video. Um, because so initially, and the, hopefully there are people watching this or potentially that watch this, that this is really good for just an ad manager or a media buyer or to manage stuff. Like the fact that I watched some video and somebody was talking about this, about I can go to UpX, which I 
have open right now and see everybody's ad that has run in and every ad that they have run in and every client that we have in there. And I can look at their cost. Per, I can be in all of their Facebooks at one time. Like where else are you going to do that at? Like, so, <laughs> so it's like, now I can offer to them that, Hey, not only are you going to be able to use templated ads when we're back there in the back of the airplane and you're kind of running the show, um, you're going to be able to put it up in 45 seconds. You're never going to have to do it on Facebook. And we're going to continue to manage your ads for you as long as you're using the software. We'll see it every day that we're looking at it. So, and we're usually looking at it every day, unfortunately, so for one reason or another with enough people. So, you know, that was powerful enough for people to go, oh, wow, you know, this is tons of value. And now we've got something so unique that, um, that all the other people using the software builder, the platform GHL, because I know everyone who, you know, has tried this or using that platform, you take sales calls and goes, oh, so you're using Facebook ads and go high level, aren't you? And it's like, oh, well, I have nothing to show them that's going to wow them, right? <clears throat> now I can show them something that the other guy didn't have that I can guarantee they didn't have. So <clears throat> on top of that, we have like some trainings. I shot some videos on how to do like social reels and TikToks and all the stuff you and I have to do to attract people. Right. Um, I'm trying to teach them those things as well. That's me. I like shooting videos and you know, doing that, but you know, that, so that's just what we offer and the way we offer it. So it, it, let me, let me see if I'm understanding this right. There's there a front end component and then there's a back end component in terms of how you're you know, like propositioning folks and making your money. So your front end is basically a one-time premium. Like you get, you pay me X and then I'm going to give you this capability, these capabilities you're doing, I mean, I'm assuming you're doing like rebilling yeah. and things like that on your, uh, texting. That kind of yeah. But we give them like a $40 credit they'd have to spend like 10,000. It's really just a, a fail safe so that somebody doesn't, uh, because we build out database reactivation as well. Yeah, so, yeah. um, so it's, it's like, Hey, if somebody dumps in a list of 10,000 leads, I don't need a, I yeah. don't need a Twilio bill of $2,000. I, I, but I like what you're doing though, because, okay. So you've got the premium up front and then the back end recurring revenue. What's your model for that? So the, it's just 197 a month for the software. So it's lower than some guys might charge, but I like the idea of, you know, maybe we do 297 a month and ask them for four months up front um, and then give them all these other things backwards. So instead of the software as the bonus is my idea. And some of the other bonuses we provide one-on-one -on -one onboardings, stuff like that, training flip the script and say, buy the software up front and get all this, this stuff as the back end. So, which is probably what I'm going to text and test next. Uh, but so, right now it's just 197 a month. Yeah. So I, I've, I've, I've been talking a lot about like, in fact, I did a, a, um, a training with chase from go high level chase Buckner. And then, but previous to that, I talked about like creating your own agency model. And I went mm -hmm. through all these different things, you know, irresistible offers, your avatar, all those kind of things. Those are all of the ingredients. That's the landscape that you need to know <clears throat> in order to accomplish what you're doing. And yeah. it's really interesting. You can give somebody one thing and say, hey, here is this tool. It's a one-time payment and you get it for life, right? Or you can say, hey, it's $97 a year or you could, whatever it is. And yeah. That thing by, by saying, Hey, you, we know that you get propositioned by people for this one thing, the same way over and over, we're going to give it to you for a lifetime. <clears throat> and that can yeah. be the foot in the door that a lot of people need to start acquiring customers, but they don't do it mostly because they're terrified. They're scared that if I offer that, I'll make money one time and then I'll be out of business. I won't have any way to make more money. Yeah. Right. And I want to highlight one thing. I, I did a, a, a training with uh, my friend Joe Rare from level nine. I don't know. It was like a, a year ago now, probably. And yeah. he said on that, and I, I, you know, I've heard this, people have said this, but he said, you know, the interesting thing is, is when somebody buys your thing, they buy their next problem from you too. Yeah. Right. So all of a sudden you're buying Facebook ads. What's your next problem is lead nurturing and follow-up. You have to have that because most 9.9, yeah. .9, you know, 
out of 10 people are not going to just follow up their leads perfectly. And you're going to say, well, we got this thing. And so really what you want to do is you want to reverse engineer. What problem could I create for people and then give it, a, give it away? Like in, in your, in your way of thinking, giving away database reactivation, for example, <laughs> giving that feature yep. away, say it's a, yeah. say it's, $197 a year or a one-time lump sum, 2000 bucks, whatever it is. And then the onboard, you're like, Hey, by the way, this is what this is going to do for you. Would you like this? Would you like that? And you have this back end mechanism to employ, to deploy rather. That's how you make that money. Yeah. And that's how you stack people up. Okay. And I think that the biggest, the biggest lesson here is you're coming up with your model. The most important thing that you can do it's not sell a customer once, but sell them forever in perpetuity. How can you engineer it so they don't come on, pay so much over a three-month period or whatever that they're like, I can't <clears throat> handle these payments anymore. And even if I'm getting an ROI, I, I don't like this. I, I don't like yeah. the proposition. How can you keep them paying? And Sean, uh, Sean Clark did a thing with me. He's like, hey, instead of four months, how can you get them paying for four years? Right. Yeah. And like you were saying, if you had 197, if your recurring model is 197, well, with 20 people, that's not very exciting. But with yeah. 2,000 people or 200 people, now that starts getting, I mean, even 200 people, that starts getting, yeah, it was 200. You know, it's just, it's steady money. Um, all right. So there's that's the goal. <laughs> let's and go, let's and I, I think it. there's something too that we don't talk about in this industry that I probably talk about every day, you know, with realtors or that we talk about is understanding the other tools that they'll use with, if they don't have us. Understanding the other CRMs, if you're chiro working with chiropractors or if you're working yeah. with home service companies, understand what uh, Service Pro does or Service Titan and like understand the other tools that they use. And when you can talk about them, like I can talk about, K I've been a realtor, so I can talk about KV Core and I can talk about all the other things that are the tools that they use now. And, and, and it diffuses everybody else who's a marketer too, because they don't know the other tools from, it makes sales way easier. <laughs> yeah. One of the things that, that we do, and, and I've talked, I don't know if you've ever heard me talk about slow onboarding. I know that uh, in terms of onboarding, people want to make the SaaS model entirely SaaS, like entirely hands-off. I, yeah. I don't think that's smart personally. <clears throat> I don't um, believe in it. And maybe it's because I'm dumb. Could be, I don't know. Uh, but for me, you're leaving so much opportunity on the table when you do that. So for example, even let's say, let's say I were to bring somebody on for, and this is, we do this, by the way, I bring somebody on for a 14 day free trial. Okay. The potential of me not making money is there, but I know what my numbers are. And one of the things that we do when we bring people on and we slow on board them, meaning it's a one-on-one -on -one onboarding, the objective of that first call is to get them all set up and for them yeah to launch their own ads inside our platform, like via mm -hmm. UPS, of course, right? That's the goal of the first call. Also within <clears> that <throat> call, I'm gathering all this information. What, what email provider do you use? What is, what uh, EHR do you use? What, and I'm getting the softwares that they're already, pay, uh, already paying for, for future sales ammo. Yeah. Because when we go into seasoning the account, I want to know, hey, by the way, you're just spending $600 a month. We're going to get this down to, uh, you know, 297 bucks. <clears throat> get rid of all that other stuff. Which which can just happen, by the way, by setting up a form on, and having fill out the form, pre yes. the, the, the call, the yes. booking the appointment. So it's like we book the appointment and instead of the regular appointment booking form, we just have our onboarding form. So it's asking all that information. Yeah from that person. And, and it happens on the sales call. Yeah. So we booked the, their onboarding appointment on their sales call, fill out that form. So we're I, already getting that detailed information right after they paid. I think the idea of, of <clears> having <throat> people just sign up and do all that is a nice idea. But I think if you put in more care, I shouldn't say care. Yeah, no, I'll say well, it's care. like taking a pill to get a six pack abs. It's not worked for me yet. And so, yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, if, if I can onboard somebody with a one, like one, one-on-one -on -one call, and then the other ones we do, by the way, we do two follow-up ones and they're, but they're group, they're group onboard calls. Okay. 
And so if we have one person that signs up that week, then it's a one-on-one, -on -one, right? But if we have 10, then it's 10 people going through the same steps together, learning how to use the platform. And we still bring them on with the same information, but it's high touch at the beginning. I have a video that plays. It's like a nine, 10 minute video. They watch that video, they onboard and they launch their own ads. So win, win, win. I get a yeah. win out of them because they watch my video, which is a reframing <clears throat> video. I know that they've worked likely with other agencies. I want to reframe what we're doing because we're not doing the same thing. It's better. Okay. And mm -hmm. then when they launch that ad, I want them to go, I just launched my ad and I did it without an agency. Like I did this, this is cool. <clears throat> and if you don't, if you don't go through that process, if you don't get those, th that high touch element at the very beginning, I believe that will affect your churn. Number one, I believe yeah. you leave a ton of money on the table for future sales opportunities. And I just think you can build a much more durable business over time doing it that way. And that's, that's why I cre started creating like training and stuff around it and like have a whole training around how to use the platform, how to use the software, uh, because them watching videos of you is twofold. It's building authority, but it's also like, okay, now they know how to use it and maybe they don't need us. Maybe they don't show up on the Tuesday call <laughs> where we help yeah. them or whatever, but yeah, yeah, I, I do like that idea. I like that model of putting everybody into a group thing for the week, for the following week that's joined. Yeah. Everybody so gets a, idea. everybody gets a one-on-one -on -one onboarding call that doesn't change. <clears throat> and they all yeah. go through the same process. They watch the video, they go through, I mean, there's not a ton of questions that uh, we usually have for them and then they launch their ads and that's the win that we promise them. That's so what we want to follow through on that first call. Well, yeah, yeah I, I think that's, that's awesome. Um, it's so funny. I, again, I go back and all this information, like you and I are just spitting this out. That's what you had to pay 40 grand for. Or yeah. 60 grand, 60 grand. I'm sorry. You said 60 grand. But also right? made me 10 grand in eight days. Adding, yeah. You exactly. know, having that new feature. So it just, it all, it's all comes back. For yeah, sure. It does. It does. Well, Technically eight, like the person that signed up was about the same day that I signed up. I had a brief conversation, didn't show him anything, but the other, the other four were that the day after, and then the Monday, uh, so I was like, huh, there's something to this Upex thing. Yeah. So, um, well, yeah, it's good. That's cool. Well, uh, you've been in the business a long time and do you coach any other agencies or any, anything like that? Have you gotten into that side, you know, gig? of? Um, I have a few people that I coach, um, with, with kind of a little baby coaching thing. Yeah. Um, it's not something I focus on right now because we're really focused on scaling this and, um, and getting it more to than, than it is and bringing on, I mean, my goal is like 200 people in the year, every single year. It's yeah. just a, thing that's just super dialed in but um <clears throat> aside from that yeah that is i have a few people in a group that i train we do we've got a coaching call tomorrow night yeah. and we talk about stuff and some of these things so yeah what is your what's your preferred prospecting method for your agency um facebook ad and i just yeah um probably that's cold worms thing which is way too expensive but um, but that style ad, which is, um, real style, um, Hey, your niche, are you looking to get yeah. leads and get appointments and da, 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 da. So, yeah. um, just a straight talk to the camera kind of ad, um, Facebook and Instagram ads and TikTok ads. And then straight to demo. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Book a call okay. to demo uh, yeah, five, funny. seven minute VSL going over a rough view of it. Yeah. I used to do like a 30 minute free training VSL kind of thing, but I just like, Hey, listen, you don't have time. And what I learned that this maybe could save somebody $10,000 is a business to business model works really well in a short video, quick VSL to, um, to book a call. And if you're out there and you have, you're doing, using this some way and it's more of an indirect or a biz op, as we call it, business opportunity, then yeah, go in and do the free training and all that. But, um, but yeah, we, I switched to that model. It worked. I mean, I'm getting, 
I'm getting leads for eight bucks a lead. So we spend, you know, 150, 200 bucks a day. It, it's funny. It's, I mean, it's a tried and true method. It's get your traffic. If you're doing it with ads, you can do it with cold email. You can do it with cold video. You can do it with DMs. You can do it. With, there's all these different ways that you can get traffic. Even if you don't have money, you're using the value of ads is you can make one ad one time, but you know, pump, uh, put some money behind it and then just watch your calendar fill up. Right. That's the value of doing yeah. it that way. And then just learning to do a demo call. I think that's the thing that scares people the most is, is they don't, they think it's harder. They think it's hard. Right. Yeah. And not. what would you it's mostly a discovery call? They should just go watch your video on Upex or I know. <laughs> where you explain how to do that. I'm like, that's, it. that's exactly how to do it. Yeah. So. It's, I, yeah. I've got a video that shows people how to do a, um, yeah. How to do a demo call. It's just, it's yep. just a discovery call, you know, the whole thing. And really, if you got the right person coming in, that's half of it. You got the right person coming in, then ask them, ask them what they want you to sell them and then sell that yep. to them, you know, mm -hmm. and selling is, it, it, selling is not really selling. Selling is helping. And I heard uh, Mark uh, Cuban say that once, uh, selling is helping. And yeah. he didn't really elaborate on it that much. But at the end of the day, if somebody, if a candidate, if a prospect rather is actually giving you information, like you're asking good questions, like you've done your homework and you're asking authentic, good questions and they give you authentic responses. If your inclination is to help the person that's selling, right? Yeah. People sales call is this. People want to feel heard. They want to feel understood. Just spend this much time making them feel understood and this much time talking about your dumb thing that I don't remember how it works. So like, that's it. Yeah. What, so, what's the quote? People don't buy when they understand. They buy when they feel understood. Feel understood. Yep. Right. Anyway. Awesome, man. Well, last, last thing we'll, we'll leave with here. If somebody's watching this and they're mm -hmm. sub five customers, like they're just getting started. They want to get those oh, yeah. first five customers. What's the single piece of advice? If you only <laughs> have to give one that you would give to that person. Invest in yourself. Go, go buy a coach or something, some sort of training, something, a, get into a community, pay more money than you think you can afford. Whatever that thing was you just saw that you just had a got off the call and now you're watching this, trying to figure out a cheaper way. Use stuff like this, but when you're ready, like invest in yourself and build, put a community around you and people and you'll scale faster. You'll get there faster. Um, and then probably the second piece was just do the boring work, like commit to it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, invest in yourself. I like that. That's, uh, that's, I've done my, commit to that. my entire, <laughs> I mean, the, and when we started this, I talked about that course on funnels that I built, man, I bought that thing. I'd never paid a thousand dollars for a course before. I'm like a thousand dollars for this course. All right. It says I'm going to do this. I went through the whole thing. And by the time I did get done with it, I, I felt like, Hey, I am, I know way more than the people that I'm going to go be that Sell are going to, to my yeah. customers, go right? try and pick up clients for. Yeah. Maybe I don't know everything, but, um, you know, what is that? Per perfection is the enemy of done, whatever it is. And yeah. just get out there and start doing it and be adaptable, be willing to ask. And, uh, there's way more resources to learn skills today yeah. than there ever has been. And yeah, I mean, yeah, you find somebody with a paid program. Altogether. What's that? I paid, I paid like eight grand for something. I didn't even know anything was out there else. I thought that was just the normal. I didn't know I paid way too much for something. Like I got, I was like, can you guys break this up into 24 payments? I'm broke. <laughs> so, um, and they did crazy as that sounds. And I paid every single one of them, but it was the single best thing I ever did because here I am like, you know, and I run my own business and I'm sitting in my house. There's a window right here. You guys don't see it, but it's like, I'm just watching, <laughs> watching the trees and like do whatever I want. Yeah. So those who pay, yeah, pay attention. Stuff. Yeah. Those who pay, pay attention. And that's, that is something that will motivate you when you actually put some, um, you know, when you put some cash out that can definitely put a fire under your fanny and make you do things. Well, awesome. Derek, appreciate hey, you, buddy. Uh, thanks for Absolutely. doing this. And uh, yeah, everybody yeah. watching.
do what Derek did. Get out there, work hard, work on yourself, create an offer. And uh, there's, no, so- there's no magic. There's no magic thing. Just work hard and hustle. Right. Awesome, man. Appreciate it. Thank you.